everyone's different. We have a gen genetic polymorphism that affects how we metabolize caffeine. I remember my Uncle Ben used to say, I'm going to go to bed, let me have an espresso. And we'd all say, how could you do that? And he'd have his espresso and go to sleep. Somebody else will have an espresso and be like this. And a lot of that is how you metabolize caffeine. So you know who you are. Again, if you're going to have coffee, uh, we want it to be organic. Tea is what I recommend second to water consumption uh, for everyone. And if you like tea, black tea, green tea, uh, tea has a lot of benefits, high in polyphenols, high in catechins, high in flavonoids. Uh, very nice study in the cardiology literature looking at long-term and short-term tea drinking showing improvement in the lining of the blood vessel. Right, the ability of the blood vessel to dilate. So if, if you uh, like green tea, I invite you to drink that. If you can't tolerate the caffeine in the green tea, you dip it once, and then you put it in the second glass. And it will, or that's nature's way of decaffeinating it. Or you can get decaffeinated tea. Uh, I don't recommend teas that are filled with sugar. Uh, chai that's made in a conventional uh, restaurant is usually filled with sugar. So you have to know what's in your tea.